pretty pretty poor performance even by brush standards which leads me to believe this was possibly a kid's and he just beat it till it stopped working what's up guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're taking a look at the third car from the rc lot that i purchased this one here is a four-wheel drive traxxas slash brushed version this one has aluminum shocks these are pro line shocks in the front and in the rear i don't know what brand these are they're actually bigger than factory and we have some metal parts up front so it's pretty basic here stock bumpers on this stock mounts it looks like there's a little bit of grass on here and looks like there's some grass behind the rims for this video i think what i'm going to do is just take the wheels off clean it up Rinse it off with some water and we're gonna reattach this shock here. Give it a rip and see how it runs. Maybe this will be the one that we swap over to a brushless because this RC lot did come with a bunch of brushless motors. So that's more than likely what we're gonna do. But for now, let's just clean it up and see how it runs as it is. It looks like we have some aluminum hexes here. Something a little different. Lots of dirt in the back of this thing. Yep, front has an aluminum hex. I don't know what the heck is all this. Now that all this is off, everything looks to be good here. So I'm just gonna put the wheels back on. Everything was kind of bound up in there with that stuff. This whole series is starting off with me pretty much just testing all the stuff I purchased to make sure it works. I got a special surprise that I'm not sure I'm quite ready to reveal yet, but I think it's something that people are really gonna like. Let's just say it's gonna make this channel 20 times better. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my awesome videos that I plan on making. I got some awesome stuff in the works. The wheels are back on. I think I'm gonna just rinse this with some water and then I'm just gonna put it out in the sun to dry. Leave that right here for a little bit and we will come back. We're back, it's mostly dried up. So what's funny about this lot, guys, is that every car has like its own little different details. If you watch the other videos, and I'll leave the links for them right up here, you'll notice that some of them have front aluminum shocks, some of them have rear, some of them have both, some of them have aluminum shock towers, some of them have upgraded servos. This one is not, this is a stock Traxxas servo. But in this case, it has front CV axles, which is super cool. So different compared to each. We are all dried up mostly here. So now what I'm gonna do is just find a longer screw. I'm gonna do both sides because I have a feeling the one on this side here is also not long enough to make it through. So we'll get something that's a bit longer than that. And for that, we'll use our little Traxxas kit right here. Let's see, what do we got here? All right, so I got these two screws here. They are longer than these, and hopefully they sit flat enough. I think they're gonna work. So a little secret, guys, this was actually the first one I drove in this lot. There was nothing wrong with it. This fell off while I was playing, so I had to stop. So there's one more that we haven't gone over yet, and that is pretty much in total working order. That will be in the next video for the lot, but I think probably the first video I'm gonna make before that is gonna be me swapping this to brushless. We have two Valenion kits. One of them, the screw's kinda stuck on the shaft, so I don't know if we'll be able to use that. We're gonna have to get a Dremel to get it off. The other one looks to be okay, but who knows if it even works. That'll be a cool video. Either an awesome thing when it's done, or maybe a slight disappointment if it doesn't work. And I think just like that, we are done with this car. Let's put a battery in this. I'm gonna find remote number six over here in the remote junkyard. Six here, and it does not have batteries. And I do believe I have one. Here it is. Let's get this set and give it a rip. Now, I actually didn't even know 
that the Slash came in a four-wheel drive brushed version. I had no idea when I got the kit. I was a little confused at first, but I've recently seen it and the green wheels and everything it comes with. It also comes with a really dope body with a bunch of green colors. I'm not sure if this one came with it or not. I don't have it. What I do have is this one and this one is in pretty good shape. So this is the one we're gonna use. We're just gonna do a couple runs up and down the street, get an idea on the speed. So in the next video, I'm gonna hook up the mini GPS to it and see what readings we get for top speed. We'll swap it over to brushless and we'll check the speeds again. All right, let's see. Steering works, reverse, front. All right, I gotta push this camera up because I always forget and then I have some weird angles. Yeah, so right off the rip, you can see this thing Painfully slow. That's about all she's gonna do, guys. It's pretty sad, to be honest. But it sounds maybe like this motor is actually a little messed up, so maybe what we'll do is we'll swap it to a sock one, see if it runs any better, because I have a couple sitting around. And then we'll put in the brushless. Or maybe we'll just skip to the brushless. I don't know. Leave a comment and what do you think I should do? So yeah, it's pretty, pretty poor performance. Even by brush standards, which leads me to believe this was possibly a kid's and he just beat it till it stopped working. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching. See ya.